Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we um, have the first of a how-to series. Now, let me explain how this is going to work. Um, basically, I'm teaching you how to apply makeup with like new products, recent like makeup things. Most of the stuff is affordable, so drugstore, I don't use a lot of like high-end makeup really. Um, I'd like to use good quality makeup, but that doesn't necessarily have to be expensive. So, explaining this whole series, I'm going to be really in depth. From basics all the way to complicated dramatic styles that you never dream of making. We're gonna go step by step, we're gonna do this together. From eyes to lips to face to how to do contour to highlights to brow techniques, different brow techniques, how I do my brows every day, and just everything, just everything. We're gonna do cut creases, we're gonna do glitter, we're gonna do liner and lashes. I'm gonna teach you how to do the whole thing. So essentially, you can do your full face of makeup and learn how you do your full face of makeup with me. You know. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, the whole point of this is for you to learn how to do that if you don't know how to do something or if you want to improve. And when I say I mean detailed and in-depth, I will tell you even to the point of like angles and how to hold your brushes, why this and that, everything, everything. So if you have any questions, even after watching the, even after watching the video, please don't hesitate to comment. Put it, I'll reply. I always respond to every single <laughs> comment. Um, but yeah, I really hope you like it. I'm not gonna ramble on and on. Um, and let's just get started with this I makeup, how I do my everyday eye simple makeup, how to start, the basics, okay? Um, let's go and get started. So now that we're up close and personal, you can see my eyes. This is what happens, okay? I have creasy eyes, creasy under eyes, just, it's just me naturally me. There's nothing wrong with it, but um, we try to work with it. And now a secret for your concealer to never look like this is to actually put foundation, foundation, but put shadow on top of it. So for this how-to series, I'm gonna get really in depth of everything. Which means I'm going to tell you like from brushes to techniques to how you angle the brushes to like you know what you want to use what you want to lean to like from beginners from like not knowing anything right so beginning um I'm not a teacher I don't really have the patience to be a teacher so bear with me I'm trying um I hope I make sense that's what I'm trying to say Okay, so I'm using the, the Morphe 35B palette. I absolutely love this palette. This is a very easy, everyday um, palette. It comes with like these neutral shades right here. And as you can tell, I love it very much because I hate that. <laughs> so with a very fluffy brush. Now, this is the reason why we got like either goat hair bristles or th these types of bendy brushes, so you get an idea. You know, the white ones. <laughs> and they're really soft and fluffy. This one's dirty because I used it <laughs> like once. So yeah, they're really soft and fluffy, they blend out the product because the bristles are a little bit softer and longer, it picks up the product better. I believe they are goat bristles, so they aren't freezing. Um, but, but you use this to blend out your eyeshadow a lot better. One of these is essential in your um, eye make brush collection. You, you need one, at least one. I always recommend having more than one in different shapes. So you have like tapered and fluffy and different ones. I'll get into that in a whole other video, but for now I'm just gonna stick to one. And it's a standard mid-length brush. This is a, a, a brush by Smashbox. It came with one of my palettes. It's called Exposure Palette from years ago. It's still going strong. It's one of my favorite brushes. It's really easy for on the go. So for simple things, I really recommend one of these brushes, especially because you can also use it as like a flat brush to pack on shades and stuff. But mainly I'm focusing on this one. This is the guy we need today. The reason I'm not showing you a brush like this compared to this is because yes, this is fluffy and it blends, but this blends a lot better. So you can use this, but this is a lot better. If you can get your hands on one, invest it, it will change the game. You'll start to see why. So. They have really, really good ones on Morphe. You can get some more affordable ones on other websites, but I highly recommend the Morphe ones. Use a discount code, you can do whatever you want. We're gonna pick up the shade. Now, usually you can pick it up at an angle or at the top. If you pick it up at an angle, it will cover both the bristles like this. It seems logical, but some people don't really think about these things when they apply. It's all about technique too. So it depends. This is what I do and what I like to do. You can be as messy or as clean as you want. So today is a simple eye look. We don't care about mistakes and messiness. We like to, we have this one tool that will make it easier for us. It will make all the mistakes blend away, <laughs> right? So um, I usually grab, as you can see, I have like a little bit like that. So a little bit of shade, like shadow, not shade, shadow on it. So I grab the brush like this, so you can kind of see it at an angle. 
I grab it like I'm at an angle. It's not like this because I will only get product on the top of the head. If you want to place it specifically, that's good for that. But we're not doing that today. I'm going to teach you how to do the things that I do for an everyday type of makeup look. Um, an easy, simple shadow. Very neutral, very natural, right? Now, obviously, I recommend this. This is very versatile, but um, I do feel like it doesn't cover all the shade ranges. It doesn't work for everyone, but it works for a lot of skin tones. So that's why I kind of like went for this one. It works really well with mine. So we're going to grab it at an angle, like this. Like, just, you see? Tap, tap, tap. Then, ooh, Then, forgiving thing. So you don't pack up on a lot of color, just tap it away and you can see the shadow floating away. And what we're going to do is grab the shade side. Now I'm going to lean towards the side so you kind of see what I'm doing. I'm with this side, but the first rule of eyeshadow is wherever you place the product first is where it's going to be more concentrated, more pigmented, more intense the color. So don't place it at the beginning, try to place it at the other corner. It's more forgiving. So usually I kind of like lean into like an angle like right here. You see what I'm doing? It's not here, it's not here, it's here. Um, and because I kind of have like semi-hooded eyes, um, I have a lot of like lid space over here, but my like actual lid, my mobile lid, is not that big. So um, I kind of work with the upper part more, because that's just me. Um, I can show you different lids and doing stuff like that. We're gonna, we'll, we'll get into it. It's gonna be a whole series. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna work on this together. So at this angle, I'm gonna place it on the outer corner and tap first. Tap, tap. I'm going to go into like a circular shape at first and start dragging it on the inside. The more product you place like on the outer corner, you start using it most of it up and then you have less and less as you go in. So you have less chance of looking like a raccoon. Right? So that's what we do. I tap it in first because I have concealer so a little bit fresh here. If we start swiping, it's gonna remove the concealer, it's gonna make a mess, if you just, it's not gonna look disgusting. So tap first. First tap. Right? Okay, so now that we've kind of got like the shape-ish down, we're gonna grab our palette again. Dab at an angle. Dab, dab, dab. Tap away. The excess. So, now we're gonna concentrate it where we want most shadow. Usually, I want it in this section right here. I'm just gonna gravitate one, two, tap, tap, tap. Now we're ready to start blending. Now. First, I start blending in windshield wiper motions, and then I start blending in circular motions. So, windshield wiper motions, start blending very softly, don't put a lot of pressure, same angle. And we're just going to start dragging it in, pulling it in. Be very careful over here because you start, you see, you start doing that. Um, that's fine, you're using this brush and it can be really forgiving, so don't worry. Now I'm going to go circle motions. And this is what you do to like get that flawless blend, but you have to have very con like little to no shadow to start blending it like that. Do you know what I mean? So now going in with the shadow again, but now I'm gonna do the thing that I told you. Now it's not an, an angle like this. Now it's the very tip because I want very little product on the head of the brush. Head of the brush, tip of the brush. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and then drag it in. Place most of it on the outside so you get most of the color off, and then tap, tap, tap. And I'm gonna drag it all the way in and join it with my join it with my nose contour right here. Do you see? Like this section, right? Okay. So then we're gonna windshield wiper motion this shit out. <laughs> and then circle. Right? So it's blended. And just like that, we've got a blended crease transition different to the other eye. Do you see what I mean? It gives a little bit more depth color and it strains the eye makeup with the face makeup and it kind of like it, it, it merges, it marries, you know, it's like very simple. So now um, we do have this like free color lid space, you can leave it, you can blend it all the way down, but I'm teaching you this right now, so if you want to follow along, feel free. Now, <clears throat> next I'm going to grab the shade Velvet, the pinky one, and I'm going to grab that one, should we do it on an angle? No. Yeah, we're going to do it on an angle, but just tap one, two, just a little tiny bit. You don't have to count them, just a tiny bit. Don't put that much pressure, don't bend the brush, don't do that. Very, very lightly, because these shadows are very pigmented. So now, tap this color right on the crease. So like right, you know, you see where my eye bends? That's the crease of your eye, and you're going to, you know, see where yours folds. And right there, that's where I'm going to place the pink to give a little bit of a hue. Now we don't want to blend it like the other one because otherwise they're just going to blend those two colors together. You can do that but we're not doing that today. Um, we're just tapping and now we're going to like the motion. And 
like tiny tiny circles so it stays in the area. Do you see what I mean? Tiny tiny tiny. Now, my mirror, I hold it down so you can see on the camera. You can move your mirror around wherever you want. So you have better viewing, you can up, down, anywhere, whatever you want. But I'm trying to not cover the camera so you see what I'm doing. I've gotten kind of used to this, it's fine. So now that we have the pink hue down, like that, um, I'm gonna grab the same first color that I used, the brown, right here, at an angle as well. Pick up, tap off. And then I'm going to, like I said, tap first because I have creases. And this is a secret for like the creases not to crease anymore. I do set with powder and I do everything I can, but if I don't do this step, it just sadly, my creases will still crease and settle and crack and I'll do all of this stuff we don't like. So we're going to take it from the outside. Most product on the outside, remember that. At an angle, look how I'm holding it very close and just tapping like that, right? Okay, so. I am just tapping. I can look up because I've already, like, I'm used to doing this. But you can still, like, put, you can angle your thing down and look down and still do it, or you can look up however you want. Whatever makes you more comfortable. So I've tapped away. And that's kind of like setting again the concealer, but the same with the color, so you don't, um, so you don't, <laughs> so you don't have this. Do you see the difference right there? Do you see? Okay, so now I'm going to go into the color again at an angle, tap it off, and now I am going to tap and start blending side to side when she wipes on lotion. So it does look smoky, it looks more dragged down, but I generally have to do this because my creases just always end up creasing your face. So that. So if we blend it down way too low, I'll show you a trick on how we can fix that, but usually you can just see that. I kind of like the smokiness, I don't mind it, I like really smoky eyes, but that's my personal, preference. <laughs> personal preference. Um, but you can like use a little bit of powder to kind of like blend this a little bit less. You can be a lot more careful, I'm just like here, I like to do this because I like to cover the creases, but we can we can do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some powder. <clears throat> this is my translucent powder for my face, it's the RCMA No Color Powder, I'm just gonna grab a tiny bit like that. Just tap it off. And then um, just kind of like blend it down here but be very careful because you can blend the concealer out and just start being a little bit more forgiving but I actually like it so you can start doing that little by little you can be more careful <laughs> and place it like this let me show you you can be more careful and instead of if you place it at an angle it's going to drag the shadow longer like lower and I like to do that because my creases run lower but you can what you can do is blend it like this and you can tap, 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 like that. And then what you can do is you can blend like this. Or you can grab a smaller blending brush or even use a flat shader brush like this. But, like, you know, tap, 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 and then blend side to side. I don't do circle motions down here because it's going to drag it down lower and you're going to look like a raccoon too, so I don't do that. Um, but that's essentially what I do. And next, the final piece of first <laughs> Um, we're gonna grab the deep hue, so it's the darkest brown, and this one I grab like this. I want very little product. I tap off, and what I do with this is I tap it on at the very corner of my eye, and because it's so pigmented, you can see it right away, right? So then I start like doing windshield wiper motions, and that's just gonna make my eye look a little bit more cat eye. It's gonna elongate it and look more like an almond shape. Um, my eyes are already almond. <laughs> I don't need to do this. I just like to do this. Um, we're just blending like that and it's very very subtle but it kind of makes a difference you see so then i go in with a pencil a coal um and i put it in my waterline um here and then i put a drag them a little bit higher over here so i'm going to show you how to do this this is the bh cosmetics power pencil in the shade warm brown so it looks like this and it's just a dark brown very creamy very nice i really like this now obviously you need to sharpen this um, don't put it way too sharp because we're going to put in our waterline so if it's too sharp it looks our eye it's going to hurt so we just keep it kind of blunt you know rounded um so it's very freaking nice. so what i like to do with this is i also at the same angle you know i hold everything kind of like at the same angle when i do my eyes i'm gonna go in and turn my hand a little bit higher so you see angle this is what i use the brushes the shadows in angle like at that and then i'm gonna 
try to look away. This is really hard for some people, but I use contact, so I'm constantly touching my eyeballs. Um, and it seems gross and disgusting, and your eyes can water. My eyes water sometimes. But I can, like, kind of look away and do it. I usually, like, bend my face down and go this up. And I like to drag it also onto the lash line. It's very messy, but you can get away with it. This is what I mean. And then I do the same for the top one. So I was like this and looking down so I could do it, you know, like that. <laughs> but I'm going to change the angle and I'm going to put the top lash line, water line, sorry. We're going to do that and then the mirror's angle is lower. Nail that down. It darkens our eye, it opens my eye up a little bit more because my eyes are really, really small, so that's what kind of helps. Um, and now, the secret thing is I'm going to drag it right at the corner. So this is your lash line right here, and I'm just going to drag that there, right there, just like that. Nothing else. I'm going to grab now the number one, number two friend. You could leave the eye makeup like that and not do the liner if you're uncomfortable with it, if you don't want it, if you don't have it, and do that. But uh, this is an extra step that I like to do to, like, you know make my eye look a little bit more like open and you know that that sort of thing so to not let it dry too much this is a very forgiving eyeliner it doesn't dry quickly so i'm going to grab the pencil brush and this is why it's called a pencil it looks like it looks like pencil it's a bit more stiff it has rounded bristles like this and we're going to we're going to at an angle same angle it's almost like as if i'm touching my face that's kind of how i want to explain i'm going to drag it very gently right on the concealer concealer liner because then we can drag the other shadow away and that's a whole other mess that we don't want to get into really so you see how i'm dragging this right here a little goes a very long way now i'm putting it like following my lash line and doing this because i will show you what i'm gonna do after this and then i drag this and then i turn my brush like at an angle of how my lash line ends so it continues if, I, if my waterline were to continue it would go like up into this shape right so i'm going to continue and drag this liner a little bit higher up in that direction you see it's kind of like a little bit of a shade so it's a bit of a cat eye without being a cat eye it's a full cat eye you know the same pencil brush i'm just gonna drag the um eyeliner and just kind of drag it into the shadow now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to turn the brush to this flat shader brush and do you see how this is really like flat um this is two sides there's no specific reason like one for lighter one for darker but any flat shader brush brush will do it's just very very flat it has a little bit of a tapered edge and it's rounded here so it's easy it's very soft so now that we have that we are going to grab the darkest shade again and then at an angle, as you can see here, it just taps like this. Very few little taps. Taps the excess off. And then, or like I said, tap first. And then it taps right where the liner was. Tap, 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 tap. Then at the angle that the lash line is going, tap, 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 tap. A little tiny bit. Drag it in. Turn it to the um, blending brush side, or use your blending brush if it's not a two in one brush. And just windshield wiper motion so you do the blending just drag it out, 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 out you saw me put the, the darker color right there I'm gonna grab the main one that I grabbed at an angle, very little bit product and I'm going to go in again and then with windshield wiper motions I'm kinda gonna blend that out and we've got ourselves an everyday eye makeup this is what I usually do I have a little bit of shadow follow. You have to be very careful with some pigment because that's why we tap off the excesses so we minimize these like little flakes of pigment. Um, what I do is I like to grab my setting brush. This is Real Techniques brush. This is what I used to set my eyes, um, my face, my under eyes. So we're going to just brush that away. Just very like sweep it. Do not press on it. Do not, um, what's it called? Do not blend on it. Like just literally flick it off. And then we're good. We're, we're, we're good to go. And now this is what it kind of looks like. To finish this eye off, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And now I come in from the bottom, not from the top. I come in from the bottom. 
put it nicely and then press a little bit. Make sure you're not squeezing any Vaseline. And I've curled it a bit. And then I grabbed the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is a waterproof one. I use the waterproof one because the short lashes touch the top of my eye because it's kind of hooded. And then this always rubs off on the bottom. So if you always find that your mascara is rubbing off on your um, under eyes and your concealer is getting black and messy, go for waterproof mascara. And it's just going to make your life a whole lot easier. We're going to go in from the bottom and I do this. I do the side to side motion from the bottom and I'm moving it up, wiggling it and moving it up. Sometimes I do this thing where I blink and coat it. So blink and coat, blink and coat, blink and coat. Now it can get on your lid and can get a little messy, but to be honest, I don't really care about that. So I'm the type of person that does put it on their lower lash line and what I do is I put my hand down, I angle the brush and I wiggle side to side, wiggle very gently. Side to side, and then I tap a little bit on the ends so it's a little bit more intense. I just have a little bit of a clump here, so I'm gonna brush it off. There we go. And that's what I do for mascara. And that's essentially my eye done. This is what it looks like. Sometimes you get a little bit of mascara right here. So if that happens, don't worry. If that's the case, let it dry a little bit. I know you can be like, oh my god, we need to rub it off leave it let it dry so we can scratch it off just like we removed the pigment you can just kind of like scratch it off with a brow spoolie or something along those lines <laughs> um but yeah we're gonna dry it off i'm gonna do my other eye and without talking i'm gonna do it really quickly so now you see it's very quick it doesn't take long at all
that is literally it. That's how long it takes to do my eyes like that. Next, I told you with a brow spoolie. This is a brow spoolie. This is one by Morphe. You can also use this end as an angled eyebrush for your brows, for gel line or anything like that. Um, but that's what it looks like. And with the tip of this spoolie, I'm gonna look down, same angle, and I'm gonna just kind of like brush little black flakes away. Like that. And then we're good. We don't have anything else. We're done with our eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm obviously gonna do my brows and my lips off camera. I just finish this off so I can finish the video. But I'm sorry if you can hear um, anything from the outside. My aunts are watching series and they're watching TV and everything in the living room. So there's that. Um, but I finished my makeup. This is what it looks like. Um, I just used my Morphe, um, the micro brow pencil thing. I'm gonna show chocolate mousse. Everything's gonna be in, this, in, in the description box down below, including my face if you're interested in any other products. I'm doing a first impression off of it on our foundation. Yeah, I can't speak. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm just doing that and what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Um for my lips, just so you see now I'm using the Super Stay Ink Crayon in the shade 10. Trust your gut looks like this. It's even got one of those sharpeners. Love it for on the go. I really like their Super Stay lip range the liquid lipstick so I tried to see then I really like them too and for the glosses I'm going to use the lip maximizer hyaluronic lip plumper in the shade 13 nude for something like that link in the description don't forget to check that out um it's full of links all the time I link everything in my videos including what I'm wearing what I'm using every day so without rambling on and on and on I really hope you like this video I have a bunch of videos that um, are like in this style, this how to series. It's gonna be an entire series starting like from eyes, brows, techniques, different things. Um, if you want anything specific um, to learn something and for me to teach you, um, don't hesitate to put it in the comments down below and I'll make a video like straight up. I'm telling you, if you put a suggestion in the comments down below, I'll make it a video. If you want to learn anything specifically, I'll teach you how I do it. And yeah, um, this is a very in depth series so I really hope you like it and if it works for you and you learn something then send my job and I'm very happy about it so yeah um leave um a comment give a thumbs up subscribe don't forget to subscribe we're so close to the subscribers so please, please for me subscribe <laughs> you know a lot of people watching these videos aren't subscribed so please subscribe um and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one bye